Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode. Oh gosh, we're under attack. Okay, welcome back to a brand new episode. We're under attack, we're in the nether. And there's some blazes. Oh no. Oh no, we're on fire. Can I get these guys? Okay, so I'm out in the nether. We are working on our trading hall. And I'm also trying to see if I can get lucky with some wither skeletons. Because I need some wither skull heads. I need it. I want to make a beacon. I think that'd be so cool. So, there's some weathers over there. So we're going to go ahead and see... If we're gonna get lucky i do have looting three on the sword so hopefully if we try really hard we can get one we probably won't but nope that's just coal i swear they had coal drop from the withers because they knew people would look at that little black silhouette and be like oh, it's just coal not a wither skull head it's not even all right let's go ahead and make sure we're eating too because withers are no joke okay we need to make sure that we're eating we don't want to die. All right. So you, sir, will you drop our first weather skull head? No, just coal and bones. What about you, sir? Sir, excuse me. Will you do it? No. Nothing. Oh, there's more though. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and go over here. Please give me your heads. I need it. 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 Oh gosh, we're, we're under attack. Oh no. Okay. And I don't think so. Did we get one? No. Just coal. I swear the coal gets me every time. Oh my gosh. Blazes. Oh my gosh. All the blazes. All right. Let's see if we get these guys. And. See, I'm getting pretty good at the bow, guys. Are you impressed? I'm doing it. I'm doing things. Things are happening. All right. Let's go ahead and pick up all these loots here and get that last little blaze guy excuse me sir but you need to die there we go oh gosh there's a weather right here <laughs> that was crazy okay so let's go ahead eat some food need to remember to keep eating because we're gonna get weathered i keep checking i just like maybe we did get a weather skull head but no we did not oh there's another weather over here okay yes i need it and i don't want to hit him with the bow though because the bow does not have looting, and I must loot all the things. Nope. None there. And any more withers? Excuse me, withers. I need your head. Please spawn. Ooh, I see one down here. All right, let's see if we get lucky with this guy. Okay, I feel lucky with this guy. There's two of them. We have two chances. We're not going to get it, but I'm just hoping. Okay, I'm hoping. Nope, we didn't get nothing. <laughs> we get nothing. Um, so what I want to do now is I want to take you guys over to our trading hall because we are working on making the nether queue. Okay, there's more withers though. I'm like, I have to. Like, I have to. They're right here. All right, we'll just do these last couple. Are we going to get lucky? I want your heads. Please, please give me your heads. No, there's no heads here. Uh, but we're working on making the nether cute. So I have a really cute trading hall. And we are going to build a little nether village. And make it nice and bright and colorful. Using all different types of colors of the concrete powder. Which I think look really, really cool. I love how bright and vibrant. And I love the texture of them too. So that's what we have been doing. And uh, I finished up the trading hall for the most part. Oh gosh, there's a ghast. Get inside before she blows up everything. Uh, so I worked on making these little cages here so that things will be nice and safe in the nether. In case anything comes through our portal like a zombie, um, they'll kind of be trapped here in this little cage that I made so they can't come through here and murder all of my villagers. But I think they're pretty safe. But, you know, extra per precautions are always good. So, we have new villager dudes over here. So, <laughs> let me go ahead and introduce you to the gang, to the squad. So, we have Mr. Master Mason over here. And this guy is awesome. I've been trading up my stone and diorite for emeralds. And oh, it's been amazing. So, that's pretty cool. We also have quartz and stuff too in case we get lazy and some glazed terracotta which is really awesome and then we have the fisherman who has been amazing too oh my gosh i've been using him because <laughs> we have so many fish from our afk fish farm that it's been awesome so our raw cod our raw salmon our tropical fish and even our puffer fish have been making us bank with the emerald so that's been pretty cool and then we have the master shepherd over here 
where I've been trading up our brown and gray wool for emeralds too, which has been awesome. Oh my gosh. We might need a couple more of these guys since we do have our AFK automatic uh, sheep farm. So we have tons and tons of wool that we can use for trades. And then I kind of put all of our different master librarians over here and we have some really good new trades. So this guy was our first one. We have our silk touch villager who is awesome. Then this guy is our mending book villager. Oh my gosh, we have mending. We have mending. I repeat, we have a mending villager. This is amazing. So now we can get mending on all of our things, which is awesome. I'm also going to use him for some ink sack trace too, since we do have tons of ink sacks from our uh, AFK fish farm. So that is awesome. And then this guy I just kept because he had a paper trade. And I'm like, I'm going to need some extra paper trade villagers. And he also has inked sacks too. So let's go ahead and do that. And he should have a new trade now. Let's go ahead and check and see what he is up to. So knock back to he sells clocks and compasses. So that's pretty interesting. And then let's go ahead and check to see this guy. This guy is our looting three villager, which I think is also pretty amazing. Like, oh my gosh, yes, please. And then I think that's all of our librarians. But yeah, that's all of our villagers for now. Um, I do want to go ahead and move another guy in here. I saw a baby that was in like the holding cell and I think he grew up. So I want to move him over here. And I'm waiting for these guys to kind of like refresh their trades too, but We'll have to see. They're just taking their grand old time. But let's go ahead and head back over to the overworld now to go ahead and get one extra villager to go ahead and bring into the trading hall. And I think I'm going to make him something different that we don't have yet just because I've been loving seeing all the different types of villager trades and really seeing what they can do. Oh yeah, and I also made this portal right here just so it's faster and easier to access uh, from our homeland, from our house, so that's been pretty awesome. So hello dude bro, how are you sir? I hope you're doing well. Let's go ahead and head down into our laboratory and see what's going on down here. Uh, I do want to go ahead and grab up some of our pumpkins and melons to go ahead and do some quick trading. And then how's our sugar cane? I've been using it, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've been using it for tons and tons of paper. I think what we need to do is we need to make a better sugarcane farm like a mega mega sugarcane farm because I need I need lots and lots of paper I need it I need it I need all the paper I do I really do and then over here we have our wheat and potato guy and I kind of opened it up over here so that maybe the wheat villager can kind of teach the potato villager how to harvest things and I think it's been working oh there are some potatoes right there oh there's a whole bunch of potatoes uh, but I think it's been the wheat guy. He's been harvesting up the side too. And look at all this. We got so many more potatoes. That's awesome. Good job. Actually, I'm going to grab some of these to do some trading too. And maybe even some of this wheat in here. But very proud of these guys. They've been working. The wheat guy has been teaching potato guy, you know, what to do, how to do his thing. But let's go ahead and trade up some pumpkins and some melons real quick too. While we're here. There we go. We'll give them some potatoes. Awesome. And then this guy will go ahead and trade you too. Get you done. And we'll also trade you. Do you have potatoes? You don't have potatoes, but you do have wheat. So we we'll go ahead and trade you up some wheat. And it looks like it's nighttime. Look at them. Oh, they're going to bed. That's so cute. Oh, I love it. I love villagers. They're awesome. And I also made two spots for two morning villagers over in this area. One for our carrot guy and one for our beetroot guy. And I did open it up too so that these two can be friends eventually whenever we end up getting those two villagers over here. But for now, we're going to go ahead and move our villagers. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, I love this place. I love our automatic sheep farm. I really do. It's like so cool to me. Look at all these naked sheep. I love it. <laughs> um, over here... Let's go check up on these villagers to see how they're doing. I did kind of like change up this over here to make it better and more efficient. And we should be able to actually trade with these guys too. So there's four villagers up in here. And let's go ahead and do some trading with them if we can. There we go. Make them happy. Give them things and stuff. And then I don't have any more pumpkins for you. And then let's see. I swear there's four of them up there, but they're all like inside of each other or something they're a little bit crazy 
Um, but yes, you, sir, you are a farmer, but we're going to be moving you to the, to the nether, and you'll probably change your profession. And let's see, who else can I get? Can you guys hear that train? There's a train going on, like, right by my house. Isn't that awesome? Uh, but there we go. Making these guys happy, doing some trades. Maybe they'll make some more babies soon. But we're going to go ahead and move this villager that's in this water cell over to the nether if we can. So let's go ahead and grab a boat and we'll put you in the boat like so, hopefully. Oh no, <gasps> there we go. We got him in the boat. Okay, so that's how we will transport him. And then I do want to go ahead and grab one of these. So we already have a stonemason. So a fletching table, cartography table, or a smithing table. Hmm, who do we want to work with? Let's see, maybe smithing? Let's go ahead and make this guy a smithing guy and see how that works. So let's go ahead and get in this boat and transport him into the nether. Hopefully you'll like it, guy. We have a really cool trading hall. It's pretty awesome. I think you will make a lot of friends here. You're going to love it, I promise. So let's go ahead and break this boat gently. Oh, I hit him. I'm so sorry. But I'll see you in the nether. <laughs> Hopefully he's okay. I'm sorry, guy. I hate it when I hit them on accident. I hate it. I hate it so much. And we're safe. I left this door open, though. Um, but here we are. So hello, sir. Let's go ahead and put you in the boat. And we should be able to transport you over here. There we go. And we can go right under those, which is really nice. Look at that. This is so silly. <laughs> I love it. Oh yes, we did it. Everything's good. Hello guys, you have a new friend. We have a new sir or madame to join up our trading hall. So this isn't the most efficient way, but I just kind of like break things to make them go in here. <laughs> it works, okay? Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. So it needs to be too wide for a boat to get in here. So I kind of just like break this. There we go. Move this guy in here like so and then we put the trapdoor back and then we'll also put this back but we'll have to be on the other side so let's go ahead and do that we'll just place this like right here for now and we will go ahead and place just like a block so he cannot get out but i'm gonna need that block let's place a different block <laughs> there we go do this and we'll break the boat or the pumpkin. Actually, I should fix that first because he might go down there. So let's go ahead and put the jack-o'-lantern back and break this. Oh, I hit you again. I'm so sorry. Why does it happen like that? I don't like it. All right, so let's go ahead and put the walls back. And we should be able to get out of here, but since they're so tall, he can't actually walk out of this. So that's pretty awesome. And then we'll fix this up. And then I think it is nighttime now. Um, so I do want to trade him to, um, like use the smithing table, but since it's nighttime, I don't think he'll change his profession. So let's go ahead and go home really quick so that we can sleep the day away because in the nether, obviously, you cannot sleep in the nether. Villagers can, however. I have tested it out with beds in here. So that's going to be really cool in our nether village once we do it, but we cannot sleep in the nether. Nope. If we do, it'll explode. Everything will go boom. It'll explode, everything will go boom, it'll be awful. But villagers, they don't seem to really have that problem. But let's, oh gosh, I hear zombies. Dude bro, save me! Save me, dude bro! So let's go ahead and go to sleep. Hello kitties! Hello! Hello beautiful kitties, how are you guys doing today? Do you guys want a little treat? We should give them a treat, I love giving our kitties treats. Do you guys do that in Minecraft? Do you give your little kitties, like, treats and things? So let's go ahead and set you up, and I think we'll feed Daisy, we'll set you back down, and then Honey 2.0, you can go ahead and have a treat, then Mousy, then Bee, Grayson, and last but not least, Bear. Wait, did I just eat that? I think I just ate that. Was I, like, super hungry? Bear, I'm sorry, we're gonna have to <laughs> give you a treat. There we go. Oh gosh, don't make kittens. I'm so scared. <laughs> don't make any kittens. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for kittens. I'm just not ready right now. 
But let's go ahead and go to sleep. There's monsters nearby. Oh, no. Can I sleep in this bed? Yes. That is the bed I use when I cannot sleep in my bed. I sleep in this bed because sometimes there's too many monsters. But look at this. Look at our fish tank, guys. I love our little fish tank. I need to make more. We need more fish tanks. We need to get more fish. We need to find an area that has the tropical fish because that would be so cool. Oh, there's spiders. Get out of here. No. No spiders allowed. What are you doing out here? Oh, there's a creeper. Oh gosh, where's my bow? Eros, get your bow ready. There's creepers. And get this guy. Might as well get this spider too because he will get angry in the nighttime. All right, so since it's day, it should be easier for that guy to switch his profession since right now he is a farmer guy and we want to go ahead and give him a different profession so it should be easier now. So let's go ahead and head back over to our trading hall to see how they're doing. And hello, there we go. And make sure that we close everything up because we don't want any accidents to happen. All right, so this guy is still a farmer guy, but... I don't want you to be a farmer guy. I want you to be this guy. So hopefully we can get him to switch his profession over since there are no actual, let's see, there's no composters in the nether. So he should switch eventually. And then these guys, they still haven't renewed their trades. Huh? I wonder why that is. Why have you not renewed your trades? I do want to go ahead and get some more mending books. I do have a few in here. Let's see, we got three, and then we have a looting book and a silk touch book, but I do want to go ahead and make some books, and look at all these emeralds we have! We have so many emeralds, I love it! Uh, let's go ahead and make a bunch of books, and then we can go ahead and trade with our Mendy, our Mendy villager, and get some more books for us. There we go. Awesome! I need it! Oh, mending books, this is perfect! This is awesome! I love it! Oh, wait. Blast protection. Oh, okay, so this one must be done with. Yeah, okay. We don't want blast protection. Here, guys, have some swords. <laughs> Take it. I love it. Oh my gosh. So now we have some more mending books in our supply, which is awesome. And then it says it still has mending. So, I mean, let's go ahead and get all the mending books that we can for now so that we can use them for all of our things. All right, now he's now he's done. He's like, no more. No more Mendy books for now. No more. All right, so let's go ahead and put these in there. Perfect, and I think I do have, I have mending on all of my armor, but I can go ahead and start putting mending on like my ax and my shovels and probably make another set of armor too to have like a backup and put mending on that just cause there may be a day where I die. And I'm going to need a new set of armor. So hopefully we'll have one ready. And I think this guy changed. <gasps> he did. All right. So now he is going to start trading us uh, some of these. Huh. So stone axes. I, that's uh, Those are things I don't really want. Oh, and he, uh, they, they renewed their trades too. I'm excited. Okay, perfect. Okay. So let's go ahead and level up this guy if we can. So let's go ahead and buy some stone axes. And we'll buy some stone picks. Just so we can go ahead and level him up. And there we go. Oh, this is expensive. Hopefully it's worth it. All right, so he should be leveled up now. So let's go ahead and throw these things in the ground. We'll go ahead and put these in these chests over here. There we go. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these, but I'm a hoarder. I like to keep like a lot of things. And all right, so now oh, he sells the bell, yes. Yes, 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 yes! We can get a bell! We can get an extra bell if we want to! And we can also trade in um, iron, too, which would be really cool. Uh, we do have enough for a bell. Ha ha ha. Very cool. Should we get a bell? I think we'll hold off now. Um, but very cool. I'm excited to work with this guy a little bit more. And now that this guy has renewed his trades, we can go ahead and trade up some of our smooth stone and our diorite with him which is awesome, and then we can go ahead and get some more emeralds. So, oh, I love villagers. I love trading with them. It's so relaxing and exciting to me. I don't know why, but I think it's cool. I really do love it. And then I wonder what type of villagers 
we should add in next. Maybe we should go ahead and put in a brewing stand to have a villager that works with those things. I think that would be pretty cool. And let's see. Oh, he still wants diorite. All right, do I have any more? No, we're out of diorite for now. So we'll put this stuff back. And then, oh yes, we could trade fishies. We're gonna trade all of our fishies if we can. This is perfect because we have so many fish from our AFK fish farm. I'm like, what am I gonna do with all these fish? And now I know. I'm gonna turn all those fish into emeralds. It's gonna be awesome and perfect. I love it. All right, tropical fish. We'll do some puffer fish. There we go. His trades are kind of high. He's kind of on to me. He's like, mm, I know what's up. I know you got an AFK fish farm, so I'm going to charge you, you know, a lot, a lot of fish. So maybe we'll have to get some more fisher, like, people trades because <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of a lot of fish per emerald. But, you know, I'm willing to do it since we do have tons and tons of, like, double chests full of fish, so... Something I'm willing to do. All right, he still wants salmon. I do have a couple salmon in here. So let's go ahead and trade those. There we go, salmon! Salmon for days. And are we out for now? We have some more in here. Take my salmon! Take it! All right, now he's like, no, no more salmon. All right, so we did our fish trades. Perfect, let's go ahead and put the rest of those away. And then look at that, we got our emeralds back. And then this guy, we can go ahead and start trading up some of the wool that we have. So let's go ahead and grab some stacks of these so we can trade up some of our wool. So there we go. Look at this. We're making bank. Oh, I love it. Love it. Yes. Trade. Trade with me. Perfect. All right. He doesn't want any more gray, but he does want some more brown. So let's go ahead and grab up some of those so we can do some more trading. All right. He's done now. He's done. He says, hey. Excuse me, but I am done. No more. No more things. But yeah, so this is what I've been working on. There, Here is our trading hall. I'm pretty excited about it. We need to go ahead and add some more villagers in the future. I'm excited now that we have bells because now we can go ahead and get as many bells as we need to as long as we go ahead and trade with our villagers and get tons and tons of emeralds. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Rosewood. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below and be sure to tune in tomorrow at 8 a.m. EST for the next episode. Bye!